Generic greetings and welcome to Construction Plus Blood Bowl Chaos Edition. Once again, this is episode 3. In the previous episode, we versed the Chaos Dwarves, which is um, better than the first episode. First episode, we pulled a draw off. Obviously, Dwarves are the toughest of all the teams. Last episode being Chaos Dwarves, and that was still a tough fight, but we just managed to pull a win out of it. We almost got another touchdown as well. It was just one roll too many, sadly, for the Vampires. As you can see, our team, the Dark Bite, for playing for high stakes as their motto, is down the bottom there. We've got a couple more thralls than we had before, so that's all good. So we've got a couple of people on the bench. We can have a quick look at our team roster and we'll go through them all. We can see we've got Count Rex Youngblood, a vampire, obviously, and he has got three star player points. So level one, not too bad. Duke Zorak von Sartosa, vampire again, star player points three. So they've done a little bit of work, but nothing great. Uh, Count Wildsaw the Handsome has got no star player points at all, so sadly we're not really looking at him. However, the the, the man of the match, uh, who's been, well, the vampire of the match, there's been vampire of the match for the last, well, two games, and is currently our star player is Duke Wacklaw, uh, Wacklaw? Wacklaw Von Karstein. We're just going to call him Von Karstein. He's a Von Karstein vampire, which is pretty tough anyway. Yes, level 2, 9 star player points. So that is our star player. There's also another person to keep an eye on. Our thralls, we're not really bothered about them because the thralls, after all, they don't live long enough. However, this one here, Vassal Kroll, 5 star player points. Only one more star player point till they get to level 2. And then, it's interesting because I can start giving some thralls. I didn't ever think I'd say that. Some thralls, some skills as well. But he's, uh, I think he's the up and coming there. Vassal Kroll. We need to keep an eye on him. Anyway, we'll go back and we're going to prepare match. So here we go. Our very our next match will be against, looks like it's the Arnhem Seahawks High Elf. So their team rating, team value, 1,450 minus 1,160. I have 2,900 or 290,000 generic units of currency. Actually, it's gold. We know it's gold. Uh, to spend on inducements. So I'm going to get, I think, could get a wizard. Let's get a wizard. Costs 150. And did I get one of them? Yes. And I've got 140 left. I think I'm going to get a extra team training, which will give me an extra reroll. 40 grand left, can't really get anything else, so we'll go to inducement results and we'll start the match. So, 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 High Elves, High Elves are, they are a runny team. Actually, they're more of a football team, they do throw a lot. That's actually their forte, really, they have good catches and good throws. So what I have to look out for, really, is a catcher. Yeah, it is catchers we have to watch out for. They've got good throws and catches. We're going to have to watch out for a catcher sneaking behind our lines, charging back over, and then the ball getting flung to them, and then they run it in. That's what we're going to have to watch out for. Looks like we're on the Norse pitch, the least of my favourite pitches, mainly because I see it so often, and it's also a bit bland. But anyway, hopefully, the cold will slow them down. It won't. Unless it might. It might actually might start, might start uh, raining or something. No, looks like we haven't got any snow. So, choose my team role. I'm going to pick... I'm going to be the receiver, so I get to punch first. So, here we go. There is their setup. We are going to go on a generic setup. There we go. And we're actually one person down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're one person short. Where's the other person? Um, okay. That's a bit of a bug. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There we go. We've got 11 players on the pitch now. Right. Let's get everybody up the front. So where's Von Karstein? There's Rex Youngblood. There's Von Karstein. Von Karstein's going right in the center here. And we are receiving, so I'm going to get a vampire at the back and someone next to him to get ready to catch it. I'm going to fling two thralls right up the front here. And we do need to start lining these guys up like so. And I think that will do is these guys are ready to pick the ball up. These obviously are going to punch stuff in. I might as well put them right up the front because we are punching first. And this is just to stop them here. And we will accept that. Let's have a very good game. Here we go. Third match of the season. Balls in the air. The Arnhem Seahawks get an extra team reroll from the kickoff table. Not great. And the balls bounce there. So we'll firstly get our... You know, let's make sure we get the ball first. So there's a quick pickup, and then we're going to charge it over to here, right in the center, and then we'll leave it there. We'll other thrall can run up, and actually we'll leave him for now. Let's do a bit of bashing. So let's get this vampire straight away. Rex Youngblood. See if we can get a good bash at the front here. Good start. Defender down. So what we're going to do is we're going to push them to. 
one corner. We're going to start pushing them to the right, I think, and then we will follow this up. Batter, there we go, face up, and then we'll do the same thing with our Wild Saw the Handsome over here. And, oh, bad roll. So we got either me down or both of them down. I'm going to re-roll that. And it's only a pushback, but I will take it and I will follow it up there as well. And then we finally got this guy to punch him as well. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring up my Thrall first. Although, no, what I'm going to do... I need to get... Uh, I'm going to have to... It's going to have to be a go for it roll regardless of what I do. I'll, I'll go for it there. So we'll bring the Thrall up. I'm bringing him here just because if we fail our... We didn't fail our go for it. If we failed our... Um, Oh, Bloodlust, I wouldn't have to mess around. So, punch this guy here. Not a bad result, however. Yeah, there we go. Defender down, we'll go there. We've got dodge, they haven't. Batter, batter there, face up, and we'll stand them there. So, excellent. What, I, what do I want to do now? I could start crowding this ball here, but you know what? I'm going to leave it there. I think we'll leave it there. I do not want to use my wizard, so we'll leave that, and we will just wait to see what they do. So obviously they are, like I said earlier, they are not really an aggressive team, but they have, well, just the advantages of all teams really, that they can, you know, still punch when they need to, they just have to crowd people and such. What they're doing now is actually, I think, a mistake. They're getting players in and around everybody, so next turn I can just start battering people. Looks like he tried to go past there, who was that? That's an interesting one. That was their catcher. I'm, I was going to try and say the name, but it's an elf name, so just understand that that's not going to happen. Uh, they had catch and uh, dodge, which is the main one. They tried to get past. Looks like they failed the dodge roll and went face down, so that's all good. What I'm going to do then is just start batting people in the face. There's Vassal Kroll. I'm going to use him to punch this guy because I want him with a bit more skill points. Again, really bad result here. The, the opponent's got block and I don't, so both of these will only knock myself down. I'm going to re-roll that and it's only a pushback. I'll push it back up to there. I will follow it up as you can see then I'm going to start batting them here again another pushback I'm not going to follow that up like so well like that we'll start again keep bashing here ah oh, really bad results we're going to push them just back and away who do I want to push here that's a lineman, that is a lineman, that lineman's got an extra agility, so we're going to knock him out, I think. There's my bloodlust, I'm not going to re-roll it, and we're going to bat him there and not follow it up. And then we'll bite the thrall down here, which will knock him out. That's what I didn't want, so I'm going to I'm gonna have to fill this gap up with another thrall. So that's not good. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to get my vampire to do a blitz, but ah, that wouldn't work out. Let's bring a thrall up to here. And I want to start creating a bit of a cage. Then we're going to get the vampire over here. Blitz this guy out of the way. One and only blitz. Good result. We'll knock him right back. We'll not follow it up. And we'll push him down there. And then I will bring this guy. I'm not going to bring him back over, actually. I'm going to bring another thrall to there. And then we'll get a two dice block here. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to bring another thrall there. So we've got a bit of a cage around this guy with the ball. And then we'll hit this one. Good result. We'll knock him back there. We won't follow it up. And then he's face up. We've only got one more thrall left. So I'm going to use him to stamp on this guy. We're going to do a bit of fouling. Oh, and we got him face down as well. And he didn't get caught. Fantastic. We're not going to use our wizard. Excellent. So that guy was face down. So it only means he can go face up this, this turn. So that's it. Excellent. Let's have a sip of beverage here. Ah, today's beverage is milk, actually. Not milkshake, just, just milk. Right. So, turn two of 16. They've already... Oh, I've got one person knocked out, and sadly it was me that did that. So, that's an interesting one. Looks like they're trying to dodge around the place. Here's a blitz coming in against probably my thrall, I'm guessing. Yeah, and he has... Oh, badly hurt him at least. Broken something. It said broken something. That is not good. It is... Bad, oh no, badly hurt. We're okay, we're okay. Badly hurt just means they're out for this match. So we do have some spare thralls on there, but I'm now running with nine players. It's only turn two, and I'm only running with nine players, so that's not good. As you can see, they don't really know what to do. The thing is, I'm not, yeah, I'm not doing an aggressive attack anywhere, but still not, uh, I'm still pushing these, I'm still going to push this along. So what I'm going to do is get rid of that guy and then push it up, I think. We'll use this vampire straight away. There's a bloodlust again. I'm not going to re-roll that and not choose another action because I want to knock this guy there and I will follow it up. Yes, I will follow it up. Push it there and then obviously bite that thrall next to me, which has just put him face down. It's still not great, but you know, it happens. Right. What I want to do then is get that thrall up to there. And then I want to get a vampire, this one. Actually, where is... There's Von Karstein. He's going to be the one that really needs to do a bit of damage here. Let's bring him that way and then there. 
So again, there's a bloodlust. I do not want to re-roll it. And I'm going to have to bite a thrall by the end of this. So I'm going to bring him around to there and then blitz him that way. So I'm always going to be next to my own thrall. So that's not going to be too bad unless this is a bad result. It's not defended down. So I'm going to push him there. And then I will not follow it up. Batter, batter. And then end the action. Eat my thrall next to him, which is why I always move thrall. There's another badly hurt. Oh, good grief. I'm losing players left, right and center now. This is not good at all. Let's bring our main vampire up. Actually, let's start working out a cage here. Let's put one of our thralls there. I want to make a cage here and bring my other guy into it. There's another thrall. We'll put him there. There we go. This is going to take a roll. And I've still got a re-roll because I haven't used it this turn. Bring the third and final thrall up to there. And then what I want to do is run my guy out, dodge him out of the tackle zone. There we go. Easy peasy because we've got agility four. So it's only three plus and there's that sorted. Now we do have one vampire left. So I'm just going to bring him up to there. It's failed his bloodlust. I'm not going to re-roll it again. I'm going to bring it to there. No. We'll bring him there. We'll bring him there and then I'll eat the thrall next to me. So it shouldn't be too bad. I say eat the thrall. I know people said in the comments it's not technically eating. I know, I know. You just go, mm, om, 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 and you bite and have a bit of blood and such. So there we go. Not bad. We've still got this moving. What I'm worried about is if they get the ball. Because elves can be quick on the uptake. If they get the ball, there's nothing I can do to stop them now, pretty much, because they will just keep on... Well, they'll pick it up, they'll lob it, and they'll run it in. Probably in that order and in one turn. I'm very I'm very confident that they can do that in one turn, because there's their catcher, I believe. Oh, it's just a lineman. There's their, there's their blitzer. They do have a catcher around the place. There's a catcher. Where's there? There's another catcher there. Looks like there's a blitz coming in here again. It's probably this vampire. Yep. Yeah. And just... Oh, he's knocked him. Actually knocked him down. Wow. They are really trying to crowd the ball here, which is understandable. Looks like it's my turn. As I said earlier, though, I've got a problem because I'm I'm a lot of players down now. So I'm guessing I'm just going to have to start batting them in. I'll use my vampire. And we'll knock him back to there. We will not follow it up. There we go. I really want to kill someone, like get someone really badly hurt and such, get them out. Hmm, I'm going to do this. If I get that, that vampire up and put him there, that's going to take some dodging. So I'm just going to stand him up. There we go. And then we will have, as far as I can tell, a two dice there, which is good. And it's not good. It's not a good result. But if I push him to there and not follow it up, then this guy can attack him for two dice. Again, a really bad result, but we will follow it up to there. And then I've got another vampire to charge around. Who's that guy there? Thrower. Let's take the thrower out. Oh, another failed bloodlust. I am gonna. I'm not gonna again re-roll it. I want to charge it up here. And then I have dodge. He doesn't. I really want to knock him out. I'm gonna have to push him to there. And then I will not follow it up. And then I'm going to actually go there. And then in there. I do have dodge, so I should be able to make it. But this is very risky. I've managed to do it. End that action and then just bite that thrall next to me there. Which is put him face down. Stand this vampire up here. And I really want to get him there. But it's two dodges and a go for it. I'm going to try it. There's one dodge. I'm going to re-roll the other dodge, which I've passed. And then the go for it. And we've got there. Right. Wow. Didn't expect that. Do I want to use my wizard? No, I do not want to use my wizard. I can only use it once per game. So we still need to keep that. Anyway, I don't think I can do this now. It's gonna have to, I'm going to have to... I really need a little bit of luck. I need Lady Luck to smile on me now. Because they are just crowding and punching me in the face. Which, as I said, elves are... It's not the thing that they do, but they can do it because they're just, they're just crowding me now. How many players have I got on the pitch? I've lost four players. So I'm down to seven players now on the pitch. Which means that my vampires are generally going to have to, you know, pull more and more weight. The thing is, they, they are just, look at that, they're just crowding me. There's nothing else I can do here apart from just suck it up. I really need them to get a bad result. Which, that was a bad result. They get knocked down, that's good. Right. So, we'll stand that thrall up and just stand him there. We're not going to dodge it out, they just block their catcher. And we need to start really punching their faces in, so... Get this guy out here. Good result. And we'll bash, bash him to there and follow it up. There we go. We're not actually we're not actually doing any serious injuries to them. Current I mean they are armor value eight, so they're not exactly pathetic, but they're not that great either. 
Um, it's going to have to be another vampire, but I'm very aware that if I do that, that there's no one in there to bite. I'm going to use this guy. Uh, now I'm going to have to do it here. I didn't bloodlust, and it's a good result, and we'll follow it up. But there we go, and follow that up. This guy, who's there? A blitzer and a catcher. I'll knock the catcher out. If I can take their catchers out, that'll get rid of their ability to play a ball, and we'll follow up to there, and yes... There we go. Again, face up. Not very, not many good results here. Now, can I get this guy moving? This is an interesting one. I could probably, if I use a blitz instead, then jump him up to there. That might work out. So I'm actually going to do something a bit different. I'm going to use my... Um, I'm going to blitz. No, I'm not going to fling it. No, no, I don't want to fling it at all. No, 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 no. Um, do I want a blitz? Do I want to do the blitz? Ah, there's no point in blitzing. I'm just going to have to knock this guy out here, which is not worked, but hopefully it's worked. No, oh, it's face down. That's not too bad. And we've got a cheeky one dice, which I'm going to take both down. I'll take that. I don't mind taking that at all. Let's have that. <laughs> it's still, they're still there, so we'll have that. And again, I've got a wizard to use, but I'm not going to use it. This might, this honestly, this might end up being, if I can pull off just a, a nil-nil by half time, I'm going to have that. I, I'll be okay with that. The problem is that I've lost my impetus, because I, I, you know, four guys down. Problem. You know, what else can I do? They're just going to keep batting me. That's face down. I don't know how it, they've managed to do it here, but they're just managing to knock me all over the place and I'm every time I fling stuff at them they're not doing anything it looks like they're pushing me back there's the first assault on my ball carrier which is not good back to me looks like we got this thrall to move about I'm going to move him into there and I am now presented with an opportunity that guy can get in with a lot of dodges there's von Karstein I have a better solution if if I pass the ball to Von Karstein and get him to dodge out. Three dodges, but he has got dodge, so it's three plus with a re-roll. Stand that guy up. It's going to be risky, but I'm going to hand the ball off to Von Karstein. Four plus. That's done. And then that's three dodges on a three plus each. But I do get to re-roll it, and I've got a spare re-roll. Ah, but I won't be able to use that re-roll. Because you can't re-roll a re-roll, and that's what dodge gives you. What I'm going to do, then, is have a cheeky bash here. There's a bloodlust. I'm not going to re-roll it. I'm not going to take another action. Push him back to there. I will not follow it up. And then it's just eat that guy on the floor because it's probably going to knock him out. No, no. And here we go. So, I need luck. This is luck. One dodge, two dodge, and it failed. Failed. Balls. <laughs> it didn't work. Do I want to use my wizard? I really do. I'm going to activate the scroll. Fireball. There. That is four of them. Knocked one out and didn't do anything else to the others. Shame. They've easily picked the ball up. They haven't got any guys back there. There's their ca there's the there you go. There's their catcher running down the line, and they're just going to crowd it now. That's a shame. That that's only three plus three plus dodge, and I had a reroll, and it still failed. It still failed. I had the dodge skill. Handing off to Von Karstein was the right idea because obviously he had a better chance of running it in, but sadly just wasn't to be. And Von Karstein's face down now, so I can't really do anything else. Looks like they've hit me and caused a turnover because it was a both down result. Problem I have is that I just can't get to that guy now. I don't think I can get to that guy. Alright, I can, but it's just going to be a lot of a lot of rolls. Let me stand that thrall up. Always stand them up because you know, yeah, it's always best to. Let's hit this guy. I really need a knockout. That's not what I wanted at all. That's the opposite. I'm going to just push him to there. Why not? There we go. And this guy needs to go into there. Damn it. That's actually that there. That has caused this thing, whole thing to fail now. Oh dear, oh dear. There and then in there. It's still only one dice. And the good grief. What? It's that there has totally wrecked everything. What I'm going to do then is stand that guy up. And I really don't want a bloodlust, which I haven't got. I'm going to have to take a cheeky one dice set and then run that way to hit him. This is the only thing I can do now. I am right on the edge. There's a pushback, which is all right. Yeah, and then I push him to there and I will follow it up. So now that's opened opened the door a bit for him to come in and get a two dice. So it's only one dodge. So it's a one dodge. There we go. And he didn't fail his bloodlust. I need a good roll. That's not a good roll. 
I'm going to re-roll it. It's not again, not a bad, uh, but it was a very bad roll. But both down, I'll take that. Ball's on the ground now, so again, means there's more rolls for them to make. More, you know, more chance of them failing. They still have four re-rolls, though. They're going to crowd the ball. The thrower, I know that was just a lineman, which has picked the ball up. What's he going to do? He's not going to fling it, though. He's not flinging it this turn because he's just in another action. So again, there you go. There's their catcher right near the end there. They're just going to fling that ball next turn. If I can keep the ball at this end, keep knocking him back, I should be alright. They're still punching me all over as well, which is problematic. They're jumping around. This is just not going well, is it? Looks like they're hitting me, and they used a re-roll as well for that. It's going to be my turn. Oh, they're going to keep running people down. So, here we go. Let's get this thrall and get him up. And I'm going to bring them over there. The reason for that is because I want... I, I, I now assume that they're going to fling this ball. And they have one turn to do it, right? That's only one dice if I do that. That's only one dice if I do that. Let's get that thrall up. What I don't want what I don't want to happen is me to get a bloodlust when I pick this guy up. That's what I didn't want. I'll re-roll it. I f didn't. <laughs> didn't bloodlust in the end. Right. Two dice there. What's this one going to be? That's going to be two dice if I do that. I don't have any other option. Like Anything else is too risky. Here we go. I didn't bloodlust. This is two dice I choose. And I really need a good result. Not bad. But they have dodged. So the defender stumble is only going to push them. So if I push them again, push them back. And then we'll follow it up like so. That means that what I'm going to have to do is just crowd the guy. This is this is going to be too many rolls, this. I think this is going to be the straw that... Yeah, that's going to be the one that broke the camel's back. I'm going to have to move this vampire over here. He's bloodlusted, and I can't do what I want to do, which is crowd him. End the action. I need that thrall there. Om nom 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 nom, which has knocked him out. That's not what I need at all. Let's see if I can crowd him here. That is Sartosa. I'll stand him up, and he's bloodlusted. So the only thing I can do is back up, hopefully pass the dodge, and then eat this guy next to me. So... What I'll do is I'll run. I'll just, uh, I'll just move in there. Why not? And then end the action. Hit that guy next to me, and that's put him there. So they could get this in the box now. They have one turn to do this. That guy just needs to dodge out the way or knock, basically knock that vampire out. That guy needs to run here and lob it. But honestly, I think they've left it a little bit too late. I don't think they can throw that that far. I don't think they can throw it that far. What they're going to have to do is get this vampire down and out. There you go. And then he's going to run that way. Or that way, rather. Where's he going to fling it to? Is he going to long bomb it? He's tried to fling it. He's flung it to that guy. He's managed to fling it there. And I think they've got it. That guy's going to have to go for it. And... It's a fair cop. I, can't, I cannot really be upset at that. That was a fair one. That's their touchdown on the first half. Very well done. No, no, I'll, I'll give them that. I'll give them that. Anyway. Oh, bad results. So, I have five players out. One of them's just got back up. I'm still... I'm probably playing with a full map, full pitch, I think. We'll go for generic setup. I am still one person down. Not good. So, we are kicking off. They are hitting me first. Oh, dear. Right. That's the best I can do. Look at their team. This is problematic now. I don't know what I can do. I don't know what I can do. They've just got an extra reroll as well. They're just better. They've just got better skills than I have. <laughs> hmm. So they've got the ball straight away. This is just this is just going from bad to worse. I thought the dwarf. Uh, I dropped, I thought the dwarf one was bad, but that that touchdown right at the end there that was fantastic. That I can cannot fault them whatsoever at that one. However. As you can see, they're just doing the elf thing now. They're just running past my lines. I don't have enough players to really form a coherent line. However, they have messed it up and they've went face down. The problem is as well, it's just, the, you know, the blood ball, the, the typical blood ball results, you know, failing rolls that should be quite easy. Anyway, what I'm going to do, can I get in there? I can get in there. In fact, I can blitz that guy for one dice. <laughs> do I do that? I could do that. Uh, what I'm going to do first is get this guy, our thrall, and we're going to put him right at the back there. Just to get this guy crowded, and then can I get a vampire on a cheeky, cheeky attack there? It would be one. It would be a dodge to do that. Where's Carstein? He's over there, isn't he? He's on the other side. Sadly, he's not really in a position to attack anything. Let's get this. 
throw all around here. I do want to go that way. That's dodging required. Let's get him there. Okay. Throw all there. And then I think we'll get another... What's this guy's route? It's that route, is it? So I'll put him in there. And I'll get this vampire... Oh, good grief. No, I'm not going to re-roll it. I'm just going to put him next to him and then bite this thrall here. I've had really bad luck on the bloodlusts here. And when I keep knocking my own thralls out, it's not going to help either, is it? Ugh. Let's see if I can get a Von Karstein in the side here. There we go. We've got a Von Karstein in. Right. Uh, there's only one option. It's just, it's just risky, this. This is a 3 plus dodge. Oh, no, 4 plus dodge to get in here. Past it. Attack him. Hmm. Both down or pushed. I'm going to re-roll it. I shouldn't, but both down I guess. There we go. And the ball is no longer in their possession. However, they could easily pick it up and lob it anyway. But I, I'm, I am on the back foot now. I mean, how many players I'm playing with now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players. Eight players in, you know, turn, turn t nine. Yeah, not good is it? It's not great. It's not great. So they're attacking my thrall, and they've knocked it out. This is the problem, you see. My thralls are very weak. Yeah, I'm value 9. They're, armor, they're only armor value 8, but I've only knocked one of them out. Look at that, right? I mean, come on. <laughs> see, this is, this is what happens when you play a really hard-to-coach team, and you play it on hard mode. It's a challenge, which I like. Anyway, looks like they've still got the ball. The problem is now I don't have the thralls to start biting people. Which one of these is the weakest? Uh, I don't think it really matters. I'll hit this guy here with Von Karstein. Good result. We'll bite him back. But again, you see, look, I'm not knocking them. I'm not completely taking them out. I'm just pushing them about, really. You know, I'm knocking them down and such, but I'm not really hurting them, which is the problem. Anyway, let's get... Uh, let's preemptively get that thrall over here because I know as soon as I attack this guy... Oh, I thought it was going to go up. Ah, bloodlust. Anyway, we'll push him back towards my line and we'll follow it up. There we go. And then... Yeah, why not? We'll attack this guy. It's first blitz. Bad results. We'll just push him. We'll push him up to there. And we'll follow it up. And then this thrall. Should be able to get a two-dicer in here. Good result. Push him to there. Yeah. And, oh, face down. Look at that. It's just it's lack of members. So that they can just dodge out. That guy's just going to go, whee, fling the ball in the box. This is... Uh, I think it's going to be a loss. <laughs> Not good. See, I, I don't think I've done anything particularly wrong, especially at the start. I think it was too oh, okay. But them, them two thralls being taken out right at the start by my own team was where it sort of fell down. But yeah, as you can see, look, what they're doing, they're just spreading players about. There's one there, there's one there. Well, one there, two over this side. This guy's actually coming back to Blitz because he can. That's just cheeky. <laughs> but you can see, look, they're just spreading players out because they know that there's nothing I can do to stop them, really. Uh, I'm going to bring that Thrall up to there. See, I can't really spread Thralls out and start using them to block. If I go in there... That's two dodges to get there. How risky do I want to make this, really? Let's start just doing some cheeky bats with two dice. Gonna have to re-roll that. That's a terrible result. I'll take that and I'll follow it up. There we go. And... Might as well bring a thrall back there. Why not? Stand that guy up. Actually, no, I'll bring the vampire in to... I'm just trying to crowd them, you see. Bring that guy to there. Bring the thrall back to there. The, if I put one person on each of their their elves, then it means that they can't safely throw the ball. And still fling it, but not sa not as safe as it otherwise would have been. I don't really want to move this guy, but I'm going to have to try. There we go. It's not a bloodlust. And then this is the risky one. So to stand up, there's a bloodlust failure. So that's just put the whole thing. Just that, That's just knocked the whole thing on the head. So that's a bloodlust, which means that guy's going off the pitch unless they bite a thrall. The thrall's down there. That's the closest thrall. There's a one there. Right. I'm going to have to think about this. If I move him to there and attack him, the chances are I'm going to fall down getting there. If I move him to there, it's still two dodges. So it's still the same amount of dodges. If I move him over to there, it's still two dodges. That's a thrall there. 
That's two do It's Again, it's two dodges. Doesn't matter what I do here, that's two dodges. So I might as well just see if I can get a blitz. And if it fails, it fails. Two dodges. Yeah, past one dodge. Failed the other. And he's going to get sent off because of Bloodlust. So now I'm down to three, three vampires and three thralls. One, two, three, four, five, six players. I know, I've got one down there. Not too bad. And there's another blitz. See, they see what I mean? They're just dodging out. They do have agility for standard, all of them. But they're not really... They didn't do much there. And this guy's going to run with the ball now. Ooh, is he going to put himself in a really dodgy place? He's flung the ball. There it is. Can he get it in? He's lobbed the ball. Can that guy get the ball in? He can. 2-0. 2-0 to the Elves. You know what? I don't really care, actually, because hopefully my rolls will pan out and I'll get some thralls back. Two. Two thralls back, and I'll get me vampire back as well. Looks like I will be receiving the kickoff. Again, we'll go for a generic setup, and then we'll bring all the vampires to the front and see if we can do a bit of bashing. There we go. What we're going to do now, I think I'm going to change tactic. The tactic of trying to win this game is now out the window. I don't think I can do it. However, there is another tactic in the Blood Bowl arsenal. And it's called kicking the shite out of the opponent and get some skill points because you know you're going to lose game. And that's what we're going to do now. So I'm just get everybody on a big line. I don't care how much I lose in terms of points wise now because I can't win as far as I can tell. I'm just going to beat their front line up and just start stomping on their players and hopefully get some points. Uh, the kicking team coaches may reposition their players. That is the, the <clears throat> that is not what I wanted because they've just took another person off the line. Basically the game hates me is what I'm trying to say. Right, let's have a quick look. Where's, where is Karstein. Von Karstein, we're going to punch this guy in the centre, and bad result, I'm just going to re-roll it, I don't care. We're going to knock him back, push him to that side, batter, there he goes, he goes down. This vampire will knock this guy, bad result, but we're going to push him to there, and we will follow it up, yeah, why not? There we go, over here, again, we're just going to punch all the players around, but again, he's got dodge, so I'll have to push him back over, because what I want to do is get him to blitz him out the way. Push him back over to there, and I will not follow it up. There we go. And then, this vampire. Got a 2 plus to pick the ball up. I just want someone with the ball, really. It's a catch. It's a catch. There we go. Right. Let's get this thrall in, and we're going to have a bit of a stamp on this guy. So here we go, and get down. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Right. We're going to get a thrall around here just to crowd that ball. And then... Yeah, we'll put him next to there. Can I do another stomp? I cannot. And we'll just put a thrall over here just to crowd the area. And then we will end the turn there. So, their turn 13 of 16. Like I said, I'm not going for a win anymore. I'm just trying to knock them out. But even with all of them rolls, you know, I've not I've not managed to do any damage at all. This is just pretty much a, a null game as far as I'm concerned now. And they're just going to charge this ball carrier and do whatever they can. I'm still one player down when I started this one. And obviously I can't really go for the equalise. And they just keep on knocking me over like that. I mean, look. First, the, the one and only blitz knocked out. Second attack, face down. How many, ta how many times have I attacked them and it's not worked out for me? Eh, there's not bad, actually. I can't complain at that. They attack me and then knock everybody around. Right, okay. So we'll get, a vamp we'll get the Thrall over here, then we'll get the Vampire up to there. There we go, we didn't Bloodlust. Um, do I want to be cheeky and just hand it off to Youngblood? Yeah, we'll hand it off to young, young, Youngblood. And we'll get this Vampire attacking him. And it'll be a pushback, we'll push it to there and we will follow it up. And then we'll get this Thrall, oh no. Yeah, we'll move this Thrall up to there. And then we'll get my other Vampire. Attacking this guy here with a bit of a blitz. As you can see. Knock him back like so. And we will not follow it up. There we go. And instead, I will move him in there. It's going to be, oh no, there and then there I want to go. So it is go for it. That's fine. 
This guy's got a cheeky two dice. We'll push him right back again. There we go. That's okay. And then the guy with the ball is just going to leg it. Um, <laughs> we're going to go there and then up because I don't care. I'm going to reroll my bloodlust, which I failed. Law of Soddington. The game hates me. We'll end the action. Eat the thrall next to me. <laughs> I thought, you know what? There was just a glimmer of hope there. Just one little thing. To Hang on. If I can run him up to there, they're going to have to put loads of resources on him. And yeah, they might take him out. But still, it's going to be funky if I can get the ball in. But no, the game just went, <laughs> you think you're going to do that? That's not going to happen. Looks like they've pushed me back there. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> you're, not, you're, you're not allowed to win this game or even get one touchdown there. <laughs> Oh, if nothing else, this game's been a tough fight and um, one I've lost, to be perfectly honest with you. But uh, still, it's been an interesting one. So, it's still not over, though. I could still... So far, I haven't had any really, really bad results. Oh, gouged eye from, the, or from Youngblood with the ball. Excellent, we've got a gouged eye. That's what we want. Well, that's what I want them to have because that is a... That is a two star player points for him. Let's just keep batting him away, as I said. I wish I had that right at the start of the of the match though. Push that guy down. Stand that thrall up. I'm just batting them around now, as you can see. Uh, him there. I'm not gonna reroll my bloodlust, not gonna take another action. I'll push him to there and then we'll not follow it up because I'm just gonna eat the thrall next to me. Om nom nom. Face down. Attack him here. Push back to there. We'll follow it up. Why not? That vampire's in the hurt locker. Actually, I shouldn't have followed that up. Mistake there. What can we do now? I just want to crowd this guy. And then we'll have a cheeky one dicer. Ah, it's worked out. Push him to there. Oh, what's that? Badly hurt. Ivan. Well done, Ivan. Badly hurt. I wish I had this in the first two, two rounds. Because now I've badly hurt two of their players. Badly hurt and one knocked out. If I had that ten... Ten turns ago, I might have been able to uh, do something a bit more than just full, like just I'm just like flopping around now like a fish out of water, just like oh what can we do? Just trying to you know, just gasping for breath, going oh, come on, <laughs> try not to try not to make it a three nil. Right, my second last turn. Let's knock this guy back, and it's hopefully a good result. Not follow it up. There we go. And we'll. Get the thrall up and run it here. And then knock this guy out, hopefully. Yeah, good result. Push him to there. Not follow it up. And then keep running. And then go for it and all. I don't care anymore. Keep going. I'll go the re-roll. Oh, for Christ's sake! <laughs> this game, man. Oh, again, another glimmer of hope. Yes, I might be able to make this. You filled your reroll. You, you filled your go for it roll. Would you like to reroll it? Yes, you've passed that one. Here's another one, and you failed that as well. Thanks, game. Thanks. <laughs> it's the blood ball syndrome again. Can they get this in? Uh, no, this is their last turn. So even if they pick it up, they can't do anything. So it's not going to be a three nil. But one more turn would probably make it a three nil. If we, if we went to extra time, they'd probably get it. They'd probably make this. So far, though, none of my guys have been really badly hurt. As in, oh, they've been badly hurt, but I haven't had any injuries. Right. That's the guy with the ball carrier. I'm just going to blitz him. Here we go. Just blitz him. This is my one and only blitz. And can I get the ball? He's got dodge. I've got dodge. I'm just going to say both down. <laughs> just because I can. And there's the end of the match. End of the match. 2-0 to the IMC Hawks. Bad match. Bad match. Or it, it, just in summary, bad match. I just failed that badly. I won 60 uh, gold pieces. Uh, 60,000 gold pieces. They only won for, uh, 40. Obviously, their fan factor's increased. Yeah. Bad match for me, that one. Very Worst so far. However, some of your players advanced enough to go through a level. So, let's have a look. Who has leveled up? Ivan. Ivan, you beauty. The, he, obviously, he whacked a player right at the start. Uh, he, he whacked a couple of players at the start. But then... But then, right at the end there, bang, gouged eye. He's leveled up. Wow. So, Ivan. There he is. Man of the match, I think, Ivan. Let's move him up and we'll choose a skill. Now, I could go for... the several skills you can go for. I'm going to go for Wrestle. Some people say Block is your friend. But I prefer Wrestle because it means you both go down. 
and it's just a little bit more annoying for the opponent. They're like they're on the line basically. I'm gonna confirm that. There we go. So we've got one person. We've already got thrower wrestling. Ivan, well done. Man of the match, I'm guessing. Well, I'm gonna call him the man of the match. And currently, head thrall. Not uh, not good, that one. Not good at all. Not good at all. But we did level some people up and we got, I'm guessing, a couple more star player points. Yes. Uh, Rex Youngblood got uh, an extra two star player points. And obviously Ivan as well. Uh, standard match. Standard loss match, I guess. Nothing I can really say about that other than what's been said. So, 60,000 in the treasury. I think we're going to buy an apothecary, but we'll do that next episode and we'll see who we verse hopefully it'll be someone like goblins or someone squishy someone we can really bite our teeth into no actually i was gonna say no pun intended but yes that was a pun intended i didn't intend to make a pun on that one but you know i thought it, you know it, it just it, it, yeah it, it turned out that way it turned out that way as always comments in the comments let's see what happens next episode thank you very much for watching take care and generic partings